Well, hello everyone. Today I have a collective thrift rummage haul and a couple items I got at clearance at a um, retail boutique store as well that I'm going to share with you today. So I'm going to start with my vintage antique items and then I have just a few clothing items at the end that I found. So, all right, let's get started right away. First thing I found was this beautiful antique plate. It is from Royal Semi Porcelain Alfred Meakin, um, England. So it was made in England. It has a few like brown flakes that are embedded into it, but the detailing on the edge is so beautiful. I thought this large platter would be wonderful for serving guests. I've been wanting to um, just make things nicer when we have company over. So this was 25 cents. Okay, um, this is a Facebook Marketplace find. It is this hand carved wooden tray. I've been getting into more wood tones lately and this actually might be just for the coffee table in our fixer upper because i know it's a very farmhouse but like beads or little decorative balls in it something like that um it does say hand carved on the back and it does say distributed by target so i got it for five dollars on facebook marketplace i don't know if i overpaid or not but that is what i got it for um next decor piece and I feel kind of foolish about this. I didn't even notice. This is a tequila bottle. <laughs> I didn't even notice that it said tequila right there. I just thought, oh, this is so cute. Put some faux flowers or real flowers in here. I just love the character of it and the speckles in it. It's patron. So I guess it's a tequila patron, whatever. Um, I'm gonna take the sticker off obviously. And it was $2 originally and I got 20% off this item though because I wore a mask into the place. So it was like 160, something like that. So I thought this was just really cute. I love the top. Um, it has some cute character for some flowers in there. All right, next, I am trying to think fall here a little bit more. And I got these candlesticks each for 25 cents. Um, I'll pull out my gold candle holders for more fall winter decor. I put them away for now, but I thought it would be fun to have candles in there that all match because I had not found any. So I got four for a dollar. That's really what it was. Okay, the next pieces are larger. So I'll insert some clips here. I got this um, stand that I have my water filter on now, our Berkey water filter that we invested in. Um, we needed a water filtration system and so we went with a Berkey and we are loving it so far. Um, anyways, we got this stand for $5 at a garage sale. It was yellow with some floral pattern on it and just not my taste and I knew I could make it over so I painted it a green with the paint that I got to use for our vanity and our little fixture upper. So this is sitting in our kitchen right now with our water filter on it. So that was a $5 stand and just super cute and very handy to have for our water. And then I also got at that same garage sale, this old apple bucket for 50 cents. I couldn't believe it. I was so excited. I've seen them on Facebook Marketplace for like 10, $15. So this old bucket has one broken handle, one that works. Again, thinking fall decor here, this would be so cute with some mums in it, some pumpkins um, on our back patio or on our front stoop. And I'm just so excited to be using that in the fall when fall gets here sooner than I think. All right, and then this chair that I got from a thrift store is $7 originally. It was also 20% off, so it was like $5.40, $5.60. Um, it is spray painted gold, which is nasty right now. So I'm hoping to sand it down or I might just literally spray it black um, or white. I'm not sure, but I notice when people come to our place, we don't have a bench in our front porch that when they take their shoes off, they have to lean against the wall. And that's just not very uh, inviting in my opinion. So I wanna either use it in our front um, porch for guests or in our fixer upper. And I'm not sure spray painted black something I mean it was only a little more than five dollars so if it doesn't look great either way it wasn't a complete loss 
All right, and then some of my favorite items I found on Facebook Marketplace for $20 together are these tables. And these tables are going to be for our fixer upper. And I have seen on Pine and Prospect Home, Andrea over there, love her channel, great YouTube friend. Um, she sanded down a table, a coffee table like this one. And I thought it was so cute to have the matching side table. So I want to sand them down and use them in our um, cottage style decor that I'm going to have at our fixer upper. I know I'm not to the point of decorating even at all yet, but we have a shed that we can store stuff in. So I'm okay purchasing things when I find them, especially if I'm going to DIY them so I have time to work on them. Okay, so that was that table. And the next two items I found at a um, retail store. It's in our local city called Leo Home and these were $10 each. I don't know what they were originally but most of her other pillows at this shop were like $40 to $50 so this is so beautiful for summer. It has stripes like stripes for summer are beautiful so larger stripes on this side and then um, the finer more close woven stripes on this side and it's a large pillow I think it's like a 20 by 20 and I like having this on our couch for the summer here I'm trying to see what size it says but I probably cut that tag off so yeah I like having these on our couch okay now to my clothes and I don't have much just a few items I'm gonna tack on here actually the first two our pair of shoes. These are called Strictly Comfort. I got these for two bucks. It was 75% off. Um, I've worn them a few times already. They fit decently well. They're just very strappy wedge shoes. Um, they were in my size, so I honestly couldn't really pass them up. I just thought they were so adorable. And I've worn them with some um, high-waisted pants so they are just super fun and I wore them to church just for an hour or two so then they're not super uncomfortable and when you're walking around with the toddler a lot you don't want uncomfortable shoes I've noticed that all right now these you might think odd of me they look maybe like loafers for a grandparent but I love them they're like a suede material or something um, it's a2 brand and they're all uh, what is it trend right I don't know this was 750 originally but 50% off of 750 they have that little detailing there these little loafers are just super cute to slip on they were my size again so I'm like 350 or whatever it was can't pass that up for a good pair of loafers they're really comfortable they have like the cushy part on the bottom too so good pairs of shoes i'm excited about shoes i don't typically find two pairs of shoes in one stop this was a 25 cent shirt and i just wanted a tank top a white tank top because white goes with everything in the summer just a little lace up it's the french laundry brand um, a little bit of material here it looks a little bit worn it's got a little peeling pilling going on but i just wear it like tucked into some high-waisted pants or skirt or just, I've worn it several times already, so it'll get me through this summer and then be cute with a sweater or a blazer or something over top in the fall and winter. All right, and the next item, I've never had a pair of matching pajamas except when I was a little girl. So I got these, super cute. Oh, and my husband likes them on me too, so that's always a bonus. They're the Kathy Ireland Sleepwear. I think these are about $3. It's a shorts and a shirt set. They have some lace detailing on the shoulders. And they're just really cozy and comfortable. So soft of material. And I highly recommend finding a sleep set. Just a pair of pajama set. And for the winter, I'll find something else too. But I just thought this was so fun to find some sleepwear since I hadn't had it, like I said, since I was like in elementary school when it was fun to wear those Disney princess outfits for bed. But anyways, this was, yeah, about $3, I want to say. I got it a while ago, so. Anyways, that is my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I haven't been out a lot lately, so it was collective over the last few weeks. And um, just a lot of different items for the little place for me, for decor here, 
But anyways, hope you enjoy. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. I would love to have you join my YouTube community. So I will talk with you next week, Tuesday. Love you guys. Bye.